Embarking on a career in professional photography is a journey filled with hopes and dreams, but without the three things I'm going to get into in this podcast, they're just that, hopes and dreams. Hello, fellow shooter. I'm so glad that you found this podcast today. It's not going to be worthy at all if you're skimming. Let's test your attention span. Today, I'm going to explore three pillars that can guide your path to becoming a successful photographer. Today's video illustrates the importance of creating a game plan for your photography career so you can propel your work forward in the face of challenges and setbacks. Number one, ambition. Ambition fuels your photography dreams. Ambition serves as the foundation of every photographer's journey, igniting the flames of determination and driving them forward. What's your ambition? Do you want to be the best in your niche? Do you want to make $100,000 with your camera? What are the goals that you're trying to achieve? This is your ambition. Without ambition or having clear goals set, there's no possible way to achieve them. So let's get into how ambition can shape your pursuit of a professional photography career. Helping others. One of the most fulfilling ambitions is to be of service to others. Imagine the satisfaction of mentoring and guiding 19,000 aspiring photographers towards their next goal, their next level in their photography career. I'm doing that with my YouTube channel. That was my ambition. Because I chose the route of being of service to others, this week, I hit 19,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now, I've reached that goal. That's the result of my personal ambition. Setting a goal to get hired twice per month to make photographs is a good ambition. Setting a goal to help two people per month with new photos to make them look better in their socials or helping two small businesses per month each get more attention because the photography that you did for them is better. The goals that you put your focus on, by the way, if they're helping others, that's a notable aspiration. And it not only benefits others, but also strengthens your position within the photography industry and will make you money. This mindset shift of becoming a benefit to others will change how you approach your work and your outward reach. Recognition. One of my ambitions was to broaden the reach of my work and increase the global awareness of my photography. That's another goal that my ambitions with my YouTube channel helped me achieve. Do you have a website? Do you have an active Behance profile? If you've made global recognition of your photography one of your ambitions, with unwavering focus, you can transcend geographical boundaries and establish your name on an international stage. Professional milestones. Set your sight on specific professional milestones, like having a professional photography website and a Behance profile, and creating 500 professional connections on LinkedIn. Work towards these mid-sized goals, such as being published or being hired for commercial projects. These professional ambitions will help keep you motivated and focused on your goals. Try not to create goals that you can't control, like the amount of social media followers you have or likes that you get on posts. Looking outwards for validation is counterproductive. Number two, actions. Building your path to success. Our ambitions must be complemented by consistent actions. Actions must directly relate to fulfilling your ambitions. Your actions are the building blocks that lead you closer to your photography goals. So we have to be continuously learning. Whatever your exact ambitions are, dedicate yourself to continual improvement in your craft and strive to make each photo shoot better than the last one. Just as I constantly try to improve each video and podcast, I'm also constantly working on my main craft, which is how I make a majority of my money, photography. For over 10 years, I've also been making money creating video content. So I've been continuously improving my video skills and telling stories as well. We continually get better at making photographs as long as we're always seeking opportunities to learn and grow. It never stops and it's not dependent on age. 
You still with me? Service to the industry. It's impossible for me to list all the goals and ambitions that you might be considering. Instead, I can tell you what I did to action my ambitions. I wanted to help photographers get to the next level. So I started a photography podcast where I shared my insights that could benefit fellow photographers. Being of service to your community not only fosters goodwill, but also contributes to your growth as a photographer. I waited way too long to start my YouTube channel. I had already been doing photography education in schools and in person. I could have been doing this thing years ago, but the break of 2020 gave me the time to really map out my ambitions. Have you been waiting too long to set your ambitions and start your photography career? The best time to start your photography career was yesterday. And the next best time to start your photography career is today. Plan your attack first and then act. Procrastination hinders your progress. So take action now. Don't compare yourself to any other photographer out there. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't fall into the comparison trap. Your only competition is yourself. Number three is attitude. That's that unseen force. Your attitude plays a pivotal role in this journey. If you've watched me for any length of time or read my newsletter, you know I am an incredibly positive person. I have had a positive outlook on my life and where I'm going, and I apply positivity to every situation. I know my intentions are good. I have a positive attitude and an unwavering determination, and that makes all the difference. And I consistently try to motivate and get you out there to do great things with your camera. Self-improvement focus. Instead of dwelling on external factors like recognition or popularity, turn your focus inward. Concentrate on honing your skills and producing outstanding work. If your only focus is being the best photographer that you can be, and your only goal is to be of service to those that need you, how can you fail? Have no emotional attachment to your work and you'll be able to maintain a positive outlook regardless of the critiques that you get or any negative feedback. This is especially beneficial when you're doing work with paying clients. You're in the business of being of service to them. Your emotional attachments have very little to do with it. Responsibility for success. Avoid the blame game when you've been faced with setbacks or challenges. Your question to yourself should always be, what could I have done differently in this situation? In the demanding world of professional photography, remember this. Your primary competition is yourself. Most of your progress or lack of progress is on you. Channel your energy into self-improvement rather than the external factors beyond your control. Henry Ford said this, whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you're absolutely right. Persistence pays off. Back in the gold rush, there was two miners who set out to find gold. The rich miner, eager to strike it rich quickly, bought all the necessary equipment and began mining with great excitement. After a month of hard work, he decided there's nothing here. Discouraged and frustrated, he sold all his equipment and the land for pennies on the dollar. On the other hand, the poor miner, with unwavering determination, he purchased the discounted mining equipment. He had money saved, so he also bought the land that the equipment was landed on. He started mining in the exact same spot where the rich miner left. He left that equipment right there. To everyone's astonishment, on the very first day, the poor miner hit the biggest gold ridge that had ever been discovered in the area. The poor miner struck gold because he saw opportunity and he never quit. If the rich miner hadn't given up so quickly, he would have experienced the same success that the poor miner is now enjoying. This old tale reminds us that persistence, even in the face of apparent failure, can lead to amazing success. The Holy Trinity, of ambition, actions, and attitude can serve as your guiding principles on your path to becoming a successful photographer. By setting ambitious goals, spending valuable time actioning these goals, and maintaining the right positive attitude throughout your journey, you can master the core principles of making a living as a pro. Remember, persistence 
dedication and staying positive will be your allies in realizing your dreams as a professional photographer. You know that you got this and if you need help, I'm at your service. Leave a comment below and let me know how I can help you. Thank you for watching this podcast today in this beautiful location. I hope it brought you value. I'll see you on the next one.